Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. In my last uh, recent video, I had done an unboxing uh, of some gorgeous craft supplies from Tapology, and they had uh, full of goodness in there. And I there were a lot of uh, shabby theme, uh, ephemeras, uh, papers, uh, textured papers. I also had some tags in there, just full and full of lovely, lovely things. And I'm going to put the link down below to the unboxing video as well as my affiliated link if you are interested in some of the products um, that I had unboxed and some of those up items I had done a project and this is one of the projects that I'm going to share with you and if you are interested in some of the uh, supplies that I'd use I will put the link which will take you straight to the page from Tapology with all of the uh, products that I've used in here and it'll be in a page called uh, Sandy's Treasure Trove and there'll be all the uh, fun products in there so it's easy for you uh, to just get straight to the items and I also have a 15% coupon code so uh, you can use that at the checkout and there is a free shipping uh, if you are in the US for over $30 of your order so that's another great advantage uh, and so what I made using some of the products from the uh, box that was sent to me I made this really lovely crisscross pocket and it's more of a shabby theme uh, style and I'm going to show you how you can make one of these pockets as well and I'm also going to be putting together um, a similar pocket full of ephemera and a mini paper pack uh, kit as well um, and I'll have that listed in my shop uh, sometime next week but I will uh, share with you the video first of what's inside the uh, pocket that I'm going to include inside but let's have a look at what I put in here to give you an idea and then um, I'm going to show you how to make one of these and there are four pockets for this crisscross uh, pocket style so the first one will be uh, on this side here but I did add a little uh, collaging using some of the pieces in the uh, pack so let me just show you um, just show you what was in there so there was this um, envelope in there and it's uh, full of a mystery it's like a mystery pack full of ephemeras I mean there is a ton of stuff in this envelope let me just quickly just show you one more time so look at this there are a ton a lot of stuff for you to play around with if you are into doing collaging or uh, your journal pages you can layer them you can use these to make your tags and there is just a heap of these in here i won't take them all out because i'll just go everywhere but there are there's a lot in there and it's just full of goodness so i did use uh, some of the images that were in the pack And then I did some layering with some of the texture paper that was also sent to me. So this is one of the textured paper. And the pocket that I had made was also one of the textured papers in the um, paper pack that I had also got in the box. So these are some of the textured papers. So this is one of the ones I want to use. I just love it. This is just great for you know, layering or doing some paper clusters. So that, uh, this is another one of my favourite one. I did use a bit of this on some of the uh, projects, and it's and I don't I've not seen any of this sort of paper here in Australia. It's really hard to find, so I was so happy to use them. So this is the paper that I use to make the pocket. So it's sort of um, like a rice a rice paper or some handmade kind of paper, and then there were a few of these in there as well. So. Um, you can find that down below in the link but um that's what i've done here and then i just added a little uh bow that i had in my stash and added some pearls so over here is a little side tuck pocket and then i added um, a little tag that was uh in the pack and uh, this is just a little bit of lace that i have in my stash this is part of the lace trim that was in the pack as well and there was a huge bundle of lace and let me show you what you get. 
um, there is a whole bundle pack of assorted trims and lace if you love working with laces and trims they're great for snippet rolls or little clusters so this is the bundle pack that was in there so there were a lot of these elastic uh, sorry uh lace there's some more here in this bundle so there is quite a few and so pretty so delicate and dainty so just thought I'd share with you all the lovely lace that's in there because I did use a few of these little bits of lace in the project as well <clears throat> so let me just bring back the tag so I did use a brad and there's a little flip lace fabric I also added a piece of vellum to the front and then you just swing it open and then there is the little tag and you can write on the back and these tags were in a pack as well and there's a whole heap of these as well how many you get in the pack and it's another lovely textured kind of paper as well so this is just great to um, add into little tuck spots or into little pockets or you want to gift for happy mail because there is quite a few in the packs you can see there's quite a lot so that was in the box so i thought i'd incorporate that into the little project so that just goes in there which i'll just leave that out and then on this side is another little pocket with another similar tag and i added just some little cluster of uh, trim which was from here as well and just uh, layered them and then added a little flat back pearl and then i just glued it to the corner of the vellum and then added another brad and that's one of the other tags i thought it just sort of prettys up the little tag a bit of decoration and i also decorated the corner of the pocket up here with some more of the lace trim as well and then added a little dangle that i've made which i think this is so pretty and i'm going to have these in my shop as well so let me just show you how they look like um i won't list this uh, in my shop just yet because i'm still uh, making a few more of these but uh, these are what they look like when um when you decide to purchase them and it's really cute because i added a little embroidery trim some tool a little bit of a tool and then this textured uh, card stock that i had um, torn with my uh, ruler and then you can use these to make your own snippets or collaging or add to your projects you could use this as a page tab on your journals and this is a little charm dangle that I made I just think it is just so pretty and then there's a little uh, antique bronze a safety pin that you can just uh, un undo so it'll be a pink one or a blue one so I will let you know one when they're listed in my shop and I just thought that pretties up the pocket and then up here is uh, a pocket that I made uh, but here's that little uh, that grid type paper that I just shared with you before which was this one here and I just got <laughs> it's clinging onto my jumper and all I did was just cut a strip of that and then I just added here on the edge just to decorate the edge of the pocket so that's what I used there and then I made a uh, vellum style pocket using a music sheet added some more of the trim from the bundle and then there was also a pack of these uh, fern leaves or some leaves and there was a big bundle of that as well which is this one here so there's a ton of those in the pack so you can see there's a whole heap and these are stickers you just peel them off and then you just stick them onto your paper or onto your project so there's a whole heap of those and then i just added a dolly at the background of it here and then there is some of that tool which um, also came in the paper pack so 
so I just cut a strip of that and lay that on there and then on the inside I did make some collage um, layering or clusters some clusters and now we're using those uh, bits and pieces of the images from that big uh, mystery pack of ephemeras and then there's some more the lace and then this is another paper from the pack it's a nice pink color and this was also inside the mystery big bundle ephemera pack as well so I thought that would be a cute way to place them in here and then I also made a collage on some tea stain paper back onto that and this was another image from that big bundle pack I backed that onto one of my um, a book page and this is a frame a sticker frame which also is from typology and look at this it, it comes in a vellum envelope and there is a ton of these as well you would have so much fun with these there's just a whole heap of these frames in different sizes and there's some more here so you can see there's quite a lot and I think you get two of each so these are great to add to your journal pages um, to collage so there's a lot of those and it comes in, it came in one of these uh, vellum envelopes. So that's one of the frames that I used. And then I just punched out some flowers using a flower punch. And this is one of my tea dyed stain papers. And then I just did some stitching around the edge. And I did a bit of stamping here as well. And this is that same soft uh, paper which was this one oh, where was that one that I shared it was this one here so I just tore a little piece off and then I like how we get these little bits of strands and I just stuck that on here oh that might be a different one but um, I just thought that looked really pretty so that fitted inside there and then I just made a little gold paper clip with some of their trim and then on the back is another little tuck pocket hidden down the back here and that's another little tag that I just um, from that bundle this one here and then I did a little bit more uh, clustering with some um, some more of the images and some more of that nice soft um, paper and there's another of that little sticker pa uh, leaf from that pack so that is the little other extra pocket at the back and that's the textured paper so I'm going to show you how to make one of these and so there's your pocket there and there is a tuck pocket here And then the back pocket up here. And then you've got that pocket at the back. So I want to show you how to make one of these. Oh, but before I show you how to make that, I've made these little ephemera pockets as well uh, with some of the other papers. And I'll just quickly show you, I meant to show you before. Uh, these papers were also included in that big um, envelope bundle with all the uh, ephemeras that was in here. So these papers were in there and then I made these cute little ephemera pockets. And I'm going to do a tutorial for you as well on how you can make these. And you can make them two ways. And I might do that in my next video. So you can make them two ways and the way to make them is exactly the same. Uh, this one is... Um, with the pocket here in the front and again these are some more of the little images or papers I just tore it out and um, I stuck this one on and they're all from that same bulk uh, envelope pack so this is one of the front pockets 
and then there was a little side pocket here as, as well so I made another little cluster and then this one here is done the same way it's only up it's um uh, the pockets are this way whereas this one has a side pocket and a top pocket this one has a double um, two pockets um, top pocket so there's a front pocket here and then I made another cluster and then there is a another top pocket at the back so that's this one and then there is this one so I'm going to do a tutorial for you if you want to make these cute little ephemera pockets but um, I'll do the tutorial now for the crisscross pocket I'll just put these away so I don't forget where they came from I think I've just put these back in here okay so what you're going to need um, so with the crisscross pocket <coughs> um, we are going to I'm going to use a scrapbook paper so you can use uh, any papers you like uh, but for this pocket the paper size that came in the pack let me just grab one which is this size here it's pretty much half of a a4 size paper or a photocopy paper so it's just been you can just fold it in half and then tear it and that pretty much is nearly close to this size so it might be a little bit bigger or smaller it, it doesn't really matter but um, it's just nearly about half the size of an A4 paper but I cut the my scrapbook paper I cut it at six inches by eight inches so it's just a little bigger than the um, paper that was sent to me by typology because I thought in case you don't have this kind of paper I thought I'd just do it with a scrapbook paper but the folding is done the same way so what we're going to do is we only we don't need a scoreboard for this one which is great so you're just going to um, have the print facing down and we're going to fold the bottom up about half an inch up You can use a scoreboard if you want to get um, an accurate measurement. But I'm just going to fold that over. And then we're going to open it up. And then we're going to grab the right side. And we're going to just fold it in about so far in. I won't press it down just yet. Then we're going to bring this side and we're going to bring this one over. And what you want to do, you just want to overlap it slightly just over the um, other one about half an inch or three quarter of an inch in in so that's what I'm doing and that would also give you the width of your pocket and then I'm just going to fold it down and then fold this one down as well so now you're going to open this up and we are going to cut uh, the right side panel. We're going to cut up to that uh, score line or fold line about uh, three quarters up from the bottom. So I'm just going to um, go like this. You can use your paper trimmer if you want to get a nice straight cut. Mine's not that straight, but let me just make it a little bit straight. Sometimes it's hard when I'm doing a, a tutorial because I'm not, I don't have my, um, I'm not really looking at it properly. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to, I'm just going to grab this piece and I'm going to bring it over to this side. So it just gives me a roughly the same angle. And then I'm going to cut from there all the way up to that fold line. I'm just using this as a guide to see where I started the cut. So now I'm just going to go all the way up to that fold line as straight as I can. Okay. So now we have that. 
And now we're going to remove this little piece here. We don't need this little piece. So I'm just going to cut that up and across. And then I'll just quickly angle cut that little piece there. And then over this side, we're going to cut this one up. And then I'm going to angle on this side. So it looks like that. And I'm just going to cut a little bit more off this side. Okay, so this is now your paper all cut up. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring this little piece up. And we're going to apply a little bit of glue all, all along the flap there. You can use a double-sided um, tape if you like. And then we'll bring this one over. And now what we'll do next, we're going to put a little bit of glue just up here on this little corner here. And then I'm going to put glue just along the top of that fold line. And then I'm going to bring that over press down where I'll put that glue and then I'm going to press that down to hold the little the pocket in place and this should now close up and then at the back here I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and that will create that little that tuck pocket If you want to, you can glue this side down if you want, but I like to leave that open because when you put your, um, like a little cluster or, or a die cut and you cover it up like that, that will help support that part. And then you just glue along here and along the bottom here to glue that in place. And then you'll have a tuck pocket here. And then this is your front where you now have that tuck pocket and then you've got your pocket up here. And then to create this side tuck pocket that I've done here, I just added um, the little cluster that I've made, like one of these, for example. And then you just place that on the front like that. And then what you do is you will glue, you're just going to apply glue along here. And that's going to get place there and then a little bit of glue to the back and the bottom here and then you just glue that down so then you'll have this opening oh sorry you don't glue up here you just glue along the bottom here at the bottom and the side so glue there and along the bottom and then you place that there and then there you'll have your other tuck pocket on this side so that is how to make this um, well this is how I made this crisscross pocket with four pockets um, you might be you'll make yours a little bit neater than this one but um, this is how it all turned out and you just decorate it and have some fun adding all your fun goodies and the one that I'm going to be um, making for for my shop is going to be this uh, pocket here that I've made so it'll be an embossed paper similar to this. So I'm just getting it all ready and then I'm going to add some goodies in here. So it'll be some ephemeras and a little mini a paper pack. And there'll also be one of these envelopes in there. It's just to give you a little hint. So it'll be a um, crisscross pocket in one of these embossed paper and a vellum envelope with um, using a music sheet. And then I'm just going to make a few little ephemera clusters and then I'll um, share with you what's included. So I hope you enjoyed this crisscross pocket tutorial and I hope I'll see you in my next video to make these cute little mini ephemera holders. And I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.